and welcome back to AKSN. Before I even get to the interview with Tariq and Gabriel, there's a new movie coming out starring that man himself, Tariq Taylor. Watch the trailer. I will introduce you to Superman himself, Tariq Taylor and Gabriel Taylor of West High Eagles football. Gentlemen, thank you for coming down on the show. Nice trailer right there, sir. So when's the actual movie coming out, you know? The actual movie will come out, like, oh, whenever people are ready to see it. Cause <laughs> <laughs> I love playing football. That's just how I roll. Good stuff, good stuff. So, I mean, the amount of training you're putting in this offseason. I know a lot of guys are doing it as well, but you seem to be a little special in terms of how you are um, training this season. Can you tell me how, um, you know, what all the things you're doing, how how it's going so far? Well, all the things I'm doing is technically it's not even really by myself. Yeah, I'm doing this like to help the team because it's not all about me. Like if one of us scores, it's not gonna show one of our names on the score. Where it's gonna show the team. So it's about the team how we all get better together. Roger that, Roger that. And coach, um, can you also talk about you know some of the stuff you have him doing individually to get himself better as a wide receiver on the team? Um, well, one of the things, and I'm, I'm new to this too, um, luckily I was blessed with the opportunity from Coach Davis and he brought me on and it just gave me the ability to make our relationship stronger and just be a part of what he's doing. But just the training, he said that he wanted to do this and he wanted to be a, um, a piece of the puzzle and help the rest of his teammates succeed on the field. So. He was willing to do anything possible to help them, so I said, okay. <laughs> you definitely put him to the test in terms of willing to do anything possible. Can you talk about, you know, when when your father here tells you to get up at, like, so like you said, 7 o'clock in the morning and let's, um, let's run up a hill? Oh, yeah. Like, I, when I go to bed, like, right, probably around, like, 10, 10 o'clock, and I wake up, and I, usually I'm still asleep, but... When he feels like working me out, like even if it's like five o'clock in the morning, he's like, "Trick, let's go. I'm up. I'm ready to go." So we. That's good. That's good. And then you know, there's no bad day. I, I also like the the song, you know, that plays behind every video. Can we play uh, Taylor number three, please? If if we got that up on the television, there you go. Now the grip. Can you talk about the grip a little bit and what the thought process is behind that? Well, the thought process behind the grip is you're going to have to grip if you have somebody slinging it like Sean Duffy throwing the ball. So um, one of the things that we look up, and I do a lot of th things online looking up just how to make him a better player, mm -hmm. and one of the things that the rice does is straight, it strengthens your fingers individually, mm -hmm. um, and it gives them more grip. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the things of doing that. And then from Daniel Hardy, um, he told us about you know the hand grips, mm -hmm. just giving him that opportunity to put something in his hands constantly and make sure he's feeling the strength of all his fingers. Yeah, and, you, and I, saw, I saw in the caption when I was looking at the video where it was like an hour a day you would do something like this to get your grip stronger, grip the rice, and also have the hand grips. Is that something? Yeah, yeah, yeah like an hour a day. Just to just to make sure like I have my hands are strong enough because even if it's cold like mm -hmm. someone is cold you sometimes you can't really feel the right. ball so when it's cold you need to be able to grip the ball as tight as you can so you can see it. All right then and um you bouncing on the ball to <laughs> the water splashing in your face can you talk a little bit oh. about that and well what the madness is behind that well, as well. One day my dad told me it's shock treatment <laughs> and then I was like what and he's like you're gonna get holes of water and it was really cold and rainy outside <laughs> he said it's gonna help your hands so I was like okay. And he's, he's splashing me with the hose. It was really cold, but, you know, I had to work through it. Exactly. And, you know, there's one here. We don't even have um, the video, but it's you jumping up up and down on a trampoline. Your dad is throwing you footballs. You have to catch a while being hose of water. The the method behind the madness in that one as well. The method behind that is, like, to teach, like, to help catch in the rain because mm -hmm. the ball's going to be slippery, and when you take your gloves off, the ball's going to be hard to grip, so you need to learn to catch in the rain. Roger that, roger that. So, you know, um, so far... 
how has everything progressed? You know, how were you before all this training started, and how are you now? Well, training-wise, like also, like I said before, the team, the team helped me get better. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm better, and together, I also helped the team get better too. So, mm -hmm. together, we're just a lot more better than we were last year. All right, and how did it feel? You know, um, training, you know, getting a little time with Caleb Holly and meeting. I know um, Bobby Wags, who was over at the financial football um, thing. We also have a story on that with financial football, but can you talk about the experience you had, um, you know, meeting those guys and knowing that these guys, are, at least um, Caleb Holly's from the area, making it to the NFL? It was a great experience. It did show me, like, I have a chance of showing people what I can do of NFL players coming up here. So, you know, when they can come up here, other kids and me can have a chance of going down there doing special things. And welcome back to AKSN. Kirby Dort here with Tariq and Gabriel of the West High Eagles. Sir, uh, can you let me know a little bit about how the season, um, how, how the off season is going for the Eagles? I know practice, uh, practice officially starts um, July 29th, I think. Um, how's everything leading up to that point in terms of the, the guys you've been able to, um, to get in contact with? Well, just from coming from the West High um, organization and how football's going on over there, Coach Davis, our season usually starts right after that last <laughs> game. Um, we call him the guru. He's, yeah. he's in tune to what he wants his football program to run and mm -hmm. how he wants everything to run through his program. And mm -hmm. um, he wants his players to be accountable for everything that they do on and off the field. And it starts the day after the game. So gotcha. really there's no off season. And that's hard to say in Alaska because you know we have the winner, mm -hmm. but he gives them every opportunity to, the ex to excel in the off season and during the season. So um, everything's been going good. You know, the kids have been coming to workouts. Um, He's getting accountability from all the players. We have leaders that are going to step up that are seniors this year, mm -hmm. um, as well as some of our younger players. Um, we're looking to Duffy to have a really big mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. um, Sean Duffy, he's a, he's a gunslinger, and yeah. he's, he stands tall, and he yes, runs he big. So yes, we're really excited about that. Cool. And in terms of the things you've been doing so far off season, what has been something that your go-to kind of thing to do to know that you need to have it down when the season starts? Really, the thing I like need to have down, like, really – it's like I'm power, but I need to get my speed together. So mm -hmm. really the coach Davis wants to help everybody with their speed and everything. So everybody just running in perfect form, not mm -hmm. everybody running weird and everything. Exactly. So we I know. see you running with a parachute in the back of you, you know, um, <laughs> up in the hills and everything. So um, what's your favorite thing to do that you've done so far that you know, like, I, I do this well? Probably upper body workouts with weights. Mm -hmm. I, I just love doing upper body. If it just feels if get big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, uh, in terms of any drills that you um, that you that really resonates with how you play your game. Any drills? Yeah. Any drills that you like doing that resonates with how you play. Probably water like drill. Hmm? Water, water drill. drill. <laughs> water drill. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is that in like going out to like a football field, any football field, and running routes and helping footwork. Okay. Cool. And, um, you know, just uh, can you tell me a little bit about coaching your son out there and getting him better, you know, really driving him, building that bond between you two? Um, um, like we were talking before, uh, you know, he developed this persona. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we all have superheroes growing up exactly. that we love. And um, one of the parent meetings, Coach Davis said, hey, take on a superhero pers uh, persona and live by that. So um, we, he's known by a Superman and um, – in his story, I'm going to be the villain. You know, I'm going to be Lex Luthor. And um, anything that I can do to knock him down and he's able to get back up, then that's going to just prepare him for when he's out there on his own. And I love him that much just to do that for him. Mm. So of all the stuff he's put you through, what has been the one moment where you're like, okay, he's, he's playing his part a little too well? Mm, it's, it's either in, probably in the weight room. Like <laughs> sometimes when I'm my body be hurting, mm -hmm. I be trying to like. Sometimes I might want to take it like a little light, but he's like, nope, put the put the heavy weight on. You gonna do this? So I'm like, okay, I'll do it. All right. And uh, one of the videos I see you got your sisters. You know, it's a, one thing I know is a whole family thing going on here. And um, can you pull up that video? I think it's Tariq Taylor too. Yes, that one right there. You got your sisters um, helping you out holding that slide down. And I th no, it's raining. It's raining outside. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. <laughs> you got you sliding. Can you talk a little bit about that? And, you know, th those kind of moments, you know, it may be cliche, but those are where, you know, you, you get better and where is one. It's those moments right there. So can you talk a little bit about that? Well, those moments are like, that, that just tells everybody that this isn't, like, for me. Mm -hmm. Like, this ain't just for me. Mm -hmm. Like, my priority is school, football and my family. Mm -hmm. So I want to make just to let everybody know that this is also what my family does to help me and support me to there get through go. what I need to do. 